A great football game. Uh, you know, this uh, was a matchup that we had uh, wanted uh, at Notre Dame, and I know LSU felt the same way. Uh, we wanted to be challenged. Uh, we were disappointed in the way we played, obviously, at the end of the year, and, and our guys wanted this opportunity to um, to finish the season the right way. And uh, they played hard. Uh, they played for four quarters, and, and really the mantra for us was, get this to the fourth quarter and, and um, find a way to win it. And um, they certainly did that. Um, we controlled the ball for the last five and a half minutes and um, <coughs> Kyle Brinson came up with uh, the, the game winning kick. So really happy for Kyle and, and uh, uh, that's the way he came in to Notre Dame. Um, we recruited him out of high school uh, off the heels of uh, watching him kick game winners in high school state championships. So uh, it's a great way for him to finish up his career. So great football game. With that, we'll open it up to questions. Coach, Coach Kelly, you said all along that you would need both quarterbacks to win this game. And in that final series, I want to say that both of them had four plays each at they positive did. yardage, something like that. Uh, what determined which guy went in on, under which circumstance? And what was the thinking specifically on that final series? Well, th there were plays that, uh, just being familiar with both of them, that I felt that they could execute and and you know help us move the ball down the field. So uh, went back to um, you know just a, a feeling of um, you know what I believe that they could execute um, in 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 a very crucial situation of the game, uh, and that's kind of how I called the game down that. Um, in that last series, and so really try to fit it to what I believe that those are players that they felt comfortable with. Would would uh, Everett have gone in had Malik's helmet not come on? Uh, he, he would have went back in the game, um, but, certainly. Would, would you, I mean, at that point, or you know, you and then you stayed with Everett right then, rather yeah. than going right back to Malik. We were going to go back to a couple of plays that he was scheduled to get. I don't remember, Al, if it would have been immediately, um, uh, but I think it would have been the next play. Yes, I do believe it would have been. Coach, is this Malik's job to lose going into the spring, or you keep it an open competition? Yeah, this really was just about this game. Um, playing both of them, um, and my focus uh, was about winning this game, and we'll figure out the quarterback situation <coughs> in January. Um, so uh, th this was just u utilizing both of their skills to, to get a win today. Right, you had 30 days to prepare two quarterbacks in the game plan. Can you, could, can you envision yourself doing that with two quarterbacks, adjusting the different defenses on a weekly basis? Because it encompasses so much if you were to do that. Well, part of, part of playing the league and starting them was to try to find out how we were going to utilize them in the game and, and how to construct playing two quarterbacks. So part of the making the decision to start him was to find out how we were going to move forward um, and effectively craft and put together a game plan for both of them. And today I think we kind of saw uh, a glimpse of what that's going to look like. I couldn't have done it without starting him and playing him and getting a feel for the game. I think we can move forward and begin looking at that uh, and how we can construct that. I asked you something similar this on Friday, but I mean tonight did you feel like you just had a lot more at your fingertips, a lot more buttons that you could press at your fingertips? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Absolutely. Brian, Brian, can you talk about your offensive line and their play, their contribution, and using the second tight end? Well, obviously, you know, two tight ends in the game, um, uh, a will up front that um, started with Ronnie Stanley. Uh, Ronnie today was. Uh, uh, extremely vocal uh, and kind of lit a fire on uh, under everybody today and I think it carried over um, I don't know did you guys feel that I mean I, I thought he was extremely vocal and more than, uh, he's, ever been. More than he's ever been and it just kind of charged up everybody and Ron, Ronnie's not a big talker and uh, it just seemed to elevate everybody's play on the offensive line but um, you know they, they were certainly <coughs> a part of our success today. Coach you always you want to start a game in the game as strong as you can. The opening drive of the game, the last drive of the game, 29 plays, 137 yards, 1337 off the clock. How 
would you rate those two drives among the best drives you've had this season? They were the best drives that we had this season in terms of uh, exerting our will on our opposition against a very good football team in LSU, uh, controlling the clock. Uh, we dictated the, 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 the outcome by controlling the football. Uh, obviously, if LSU has the football with number seven, he's a game changer, and we, we certainly couldn't give him the football back. We, we were in the huddle, and we looked at each other, and Malik was there. It was five minutes, I think, and 42 seconds left in the game. And we said, guys, this is it right here. We can't give him the football back. If we do, we're probably not going to win the football game. So we have to control the tempo. Coach Ryan, how, how well do you feel both quarterbacks played? I thought that 